So as you can see, Hershey's gone. Cameron just uh, came and got him a little while ago. Um, this is uh, going to be kind of like an introduction video to this whole thing. Uh, and then you'll see Hershey leaving and then so on and so forth. So this is officially the first video of my trip from Greenville, South Carolina, and that's where I'm leaving from, to Keene, New Hampshire. Um, so this is the first official introduction video. Um, the final clue, and I'm, I'm actually doing this from YouTube live, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it, edit it out, put the picture in of what the final clue is in, and then, um, and then uh, yeah, and then this will be the introduction video. So, um, yeah, I still obviously got my wife, Journey Church. So I'm going to Keene, New Hampshire. That's the big surprise. I kind of actually wanted to wait until I actually got to Life Journey Church to surprise some of the church members. Um, some of them have Facebook, some don't, some are on. But most likely, they won't see this. If they do, by the time they see it, I'll already be gone and on my way. And so, but uh, anyways, um, I'll keep updating on Facebook when you know where I am. I'm in Greenville, I'm in blah, 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 all the way up. And I'm going to try to do videos as well and keep a video diary. And then when I get back, I'll put it all up on YouTube. Uh, obviously, I'm planning to, uh, I'm going to do a, um, I'm going to try to do a tour of Keenan Hampshire when I get up there. I'm actually going to buy another video. I'm planning to buy another little video camera from Walmart. Try not to use my camera phone because it's not very good. Um, but, yeah, so, anyways, I'm leaving for a week. And by a week, I mean, um, today is Thursday. It takes about two days to get to uh, Keene. Uh, I'm leaving at 11.30, uh, 11.30 from Greenville. Uh, Michael's going to come and get me in a little bit. I think he's coming to get me around 9 o'clock. He should be contacting me soon. Um, I'm leaving from Greenville. I am supposed to get to Keene around 11.30 in the morning on Saturday. Um, I got three transfers. One is in Charlotte, which is, starts at 1.30 in the morning, I think, last till 5. The next is in Richmond, which I think is like 1.30 in the afternoon, last till 5. And then the third one is on, in New York and is like 1.30 in the afternoon, last till 5. I might be a little bit wrong with the time, but it's about five hours for each, each transfer. And, of course, you get the layovers, which is usually between 20 and 40 minutes long, depending on when, when you go. Uh, there's a couple of rest stops as well. Uh, so, yeah. So, I'm going to show you the schedule of um, everywhere I'm going to be, uh, what I just said, all waivers and stuff. So, I'm going to be quiet. This is the schedule. Um, as you can see, um, I, I don't have a schedule with me. Actually, I, what I can do is I can do this. Um, I'm going to actually get a picture, uh, and I'm going to say everywhere, and then I'll leave the picture up as I'm going through each one. So just give me a few minutes to get the schedule, and uh, I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing and where I'm going, um, and you can follow along with the schedule. So just give me one second. This is where I'm going to post the picture, right here. So I leave on Thursday, October 1st, 2015. Um, I depart Greenville, South Carolina, and I arrive in Keene, New Hampshire. Um, departure time is 11.15 p.m. and Thursday um, at 10.01. You'll see that on the left side right there. Um, I actually arrive at Keene, New Hampshire at 11.35 a.m. on Saturday, October 3rd. The total time is one day, 12 hours, and 20 minutes, and there are three transfers. If you look, um, the location, starting in Greenville, leave at 11.15, um, arrive in Duncan uh, at 11.30, there's a 15-minute layover there, uh, leave at 11.45, arrive in Charlotte at 1.15, that's a transfer, which means I get off and just hang out in Charlotte in the bus station um, until 5.30 a.m. I get on the bus in Charlotte and go to Winston-Salem. Um, uh, from, so basically I'll be on from Charlotte to Winston-Salem, it's an hour and a half from 5.30 to 7.00. Uh, once I get to Winston-Salem, um, it's a layover, it's a 15-minute layover, um, and then uh, I'm off to Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, at Green, uh, did I say Winston-Salem, South Carolina? I meant North Carolina if I did. Anyways, um, I go to Greensboro, North Carolina at 8 a.m., so basically the, the, the trip from Winston-Salem to Greensboro is 45 minutes. So from Greensboro, um, I get there at 8 o'clock, and I another 15-minute layover. Um, a layover is basically for the buses to fill up on fuel, or maybe just to wait for more passengers, or whatever. Sometimes you stay on the bus, sometimes you get off. But for instance, uh, when I arrive at Durham at 9.15, I'll probably just stay on the bus. Uh, then I leave at 9.20, and then uh, Riley, I, and then uh, half hour later, I arrive in Riley, North Carolina. Um, that's a 40-minute uh, layover. Actually, uh, if you can see, uh, 
on the right side where it says uh, rest stop, it says a uh, meals rest stop. That means they have a restaurant inside there or there's somewhere you can get food. So uh, anyway, from Riley, um, Riley, uh, where was Durham? Yeah. So, so at Riley, I get to Riley at 9.15, 9.50 at a 40 minute layover. I leave at 10.50. I get to Rocky Mountain, North Carolina um, at 11.30. So I'm on a bus for the hour from Riley to Rocky Mountain. Um, and then uh, it's another five minute layover. At 11.30, I get to Richmond. All right, and from 11.35 to 1.40, that's about two hours, an hour and 55 minutes if you want to get technical. I'm just running two hours to make it easier. Uh, then I have another, uh, tra I have a tra another transfer in Richmond, and that's, um, as you can see, it's from 1.40 to 5.50, so that's about one, two, three, four, that's about, what, four hours and 10 minutes. Uh, after um, I get back on the bus in Richmond, um, at 5.50 in the afternoon, uh, as you can see, it's a four hour drive from Richmond to uh, Delaware House in um, um, Delaware. Um, and that's a 30 minute uh, rest stop. Usually there's a, you can go in and go to restaurants and stuff. I'll probably just hang out outside, uh, do a little video tour, stuff like that with my video phone. Uh, each place I'm going to try to do a little video tour, at least take a picture of where I am. I might do like a 5, 10 second video, you know, because there are a lot of people and they find it weird when I'm videotaping myself, so I'm not sure. Um, on the big layovers, like uh, in Charlotte, and the big uh, transfers, like in Charlotte and, and uh, uh, Richmond, I'll probably actually take my my uh, um, I'll take out the my um, laptop and do a webcam video from there. All right, and then uh, anyways, where were we? Oh yeah, uh, after uh, the, the 40 minute, the 30 minute layover, we leave at 10:05 and we get to New York at 12:35, and I'll definitely be doing some videotaping there. All right, I'll be videotaping going through the Lincoln Tunnel and all that. Because I've never actually taken a little Lincoln Tunnel at night, only during the day. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, we get to uh, uh, New York at 12.35. And it's, uh, I mean, you can see um, I, leave the, um, I leave New York at 5.30. So it's a, again, it's a four-hour, it's a five-hour transfer. Well, one, two, yeah, it's a five-hour and five-minute transfer. Um, from New York, um, I arrive in New Haven. Uh, two hours later, about, yeah, two hours and an hour and 20 minutes later, hour and 50 minutes later, and um, that's a 10 minute layover there um, in New Haven from 720 to 730, and then, uh, and then um, I arrive in New Britain at 810, so it's about, uh, it's about 40 minutes, um, another 40 minute ride from New Haven to New Britain, um, and then uh, I get to Hartford for New Britain, and that's another, another 20 minutes, all right, and uh, that's a 50 minute layover there. Um, and then uh, from Hartford I go to Springfield, which is uh, um, another that's uh, 8:45 and 9:20. So that's yeah, that's about uh, yeah, that's about a half hour, half hour, 35 minutes. Um, I'm sure someone's going to get technical on exactly how long it is, but uh, anyways, from Springfield I go to Northampton. Um, that takes about 25 minutes. Um, and since uh, and then from Northampton I go go to Greenfield, Mass, and that's uh, at 10:30. So that, that's, a half, that's a half hour drive from Northfield to Greenfield. And then uh, I leave Greenfield and go to Brattleboro. And uh, I arrive at Brattleboro from Greenfield at 11.05. And then from Brattleboro, um, I get the Keene at 11.35. And there you go. That's the entire schedule. I explained it all. Um, the thing is, and this has only happened to me once that I've done this, is sometimes they let you get on an earlier bus, but uh, it's only happened to me once. So I might get the key earlier, I might not. Uh, I think it was the one time in Richmond, they actually let me on the bus like a half hour early. Like literally, like my bus was supposed to be five hours and they actually let me on a bus like three hours earlier. And uh, so uh, when the first time I was supposed to get to Anderson like at seven o'clock at night, I ended up getting here like at one o'clock in the afternoon. So uh, if that happens and if I'm, you know, if I get the key at seven o'clock in the morning, great. That means I can bring and walk down to the college and participate in the walk for Alzheimer's that they're having on Saturday. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I mean, if I get there on time, I won't be able to go because the walk for Alzheimer's is actually taking place at 10.30 at the Keene State College. I'm going to get there an hour late. So there you go. That's where I'm going. I'm going away for a week. And by a week, I mean, actually, I'm on my, technically, I'm not going to go for a week. I'm actually staying till Thursday up in Keene because it takes two days. And I want to be back in Anderson by October 11th so I can attend the big baptism that's going on at New Spring. One of my friends is getting baptized and I want to be there to see her get baptized. All right, I'm going up to King for a few days, see family, you know, get, you know, see all my friends and family up there. But the, one of the main reasons why I'm going up is to try to get my mom either by herself or with her friend Betsy to come down with me. 
Um, if I'm if my mom and Becky can't go in a car, then I'm hoping to get a ticket for my mom and we and just that's the main reason why I'm going up. That is the number one reason is so my mom can come down here and experience and see how awesome New Spring is and see for herself in person how awesome that church is and how awesome the people are. So with that said, I'm going to take the picture down. Taking the picture down now. And there you go. And this video has been way too long. I didn't realize. I had the map up, so I didn't know what was going on with the video and what I was talking about. So um, I didn't realize it was a 10 minute and a half video. So that's it. That's what I'm doing. That's the big surprise. So this is clue number four and what I'm doing. Um, again, you guys might not actually see this until I put the whole video together. So, but I will put up, I will, um, obviously by the time you see this, um, I will, um, actually I might keep this up. I may actually put this up on uh, Facebook. I think I probably will, but I'm also going to, you know, use it um, in the video. In the, uh, for, you know, diary of Jason Blatt as he travels from Green, uh, South Carolina, New Hampshire. Anyways, I'm going to leave it from there. Um, everybody down in South Carolina, stay safe. Pray for me that the next 48 hours getting on the bus goes well. I have a feeling that getting on the bus is actually going to go better than me being on the manager. I, there's a reason for me saying that. It, it's just me being honest. But we'll see how it goes. Um, just, I'll keep everyone updated on Facebook. I'm going to have my laptop right there in my bag. I'm bringing two bags. I'm bringing a clothes bag. I'm bringing my laptop bag that has a bunch of food and drinks in it. So I'm good for food and drinks. Um, that's it. This video has been way too long, so I hope you enjoy this video. Um, anybody that didn't know that I was going up to New Hampshire that sees this video, if you attend Life Journey Church, don't tell anybody. I want it to be a surprise. I plan to get to Life Journey Church early and maybe get there before anyone even knows I'm there so I can be out there doing what I do best, and that's greeting. So anyways, love you all. Um, stay safe down in South Carolina. I guess there's some tropical storm that's coming. I don't believe it. I don't believe in the Weather Channel. I believe in God. Um, and that's it for now. So bye for now. Um, again, pray for me. And um, that's it. Um, one last thing. Pray for me that I'm going to do okay without my dog. Because I'm already missing him. And it's not even been a half hour. I'm going to miss my dog.